it's rare that I get an opportunity to have two guys who have um, been in high-powered p- positions in the front office sit down with me. Actually, it's rare when I get anybody to sit down with me, but, <laughs> but both of you guys have had kind of similar situations. And, and I'm just curious, Tom, how, how do you think the job has changed from the time that you were a GM to, to what Thad has got a, in his role now? It's almost an entirely different job. If you look back to those days, there was no internet, there was no talk radio. We had one major league scout. Um, in fact, we had no advanced scout. Bobby Valentine, as a matter of fact, bought two satellite dishes, three TV monitors, and did the advanced scouting out of his office by himself. Um, analytics, uh, if I think what role analytics played back then, I think we were concentrating on on base percentage back then rather than batting average. So it's an entirely different job. And you know, Thad, you can you can speak to that. Not only has it changed from that time, it's changed over the last five or six years as well. It's, it's forever evolving, but I, I think in my conversations with Tom in the past, what blows me away is how many jobs that we currently have specialized in individuals Tom had to do on his own. I mean, as a reference to what Tom just re- said, we have four people dedicated to advanced scouting exclusively. We invest another $100,000 in data just associated with advanced <laughs> scouting right now. So I think that probably eclipsed Bobby Valentine's <laughs> two, two satellite televisions. The, the game has just evolved. I mean, with cell phones nowadays, with social media, I think you have to be on your toes. You have to be in constant communication. You have to be on top of everything. But you know, the general manager's job right now, as is the manager's, is so media focused. You have mm-hmm. so many constituents between the owners, the media, the fans, the sponsors, you're constantly involved in that. Really, you have to carve out specific points in the day to just focus on baseball. It's not the easiest thing to do. There's a lot more experts now than there was back then. (laughs) Stop looking at me. I'm not talking about you. (laughs) But, you know, because of the internet, um, because of social media, because of talk radio, the fan base is much more knowledgeable right now. And I think, I think your job is significantly harder now than it was back then. Well, I, I think one thing that we're proud of as a front office group is that most of our trade discussions don't become public because in today's day and age, it's so difficult to keep that Absolutely. information in house. And I think once it is public, it's so much more difficult to make those deals. Yeah. So we, as tough as it is, we much prefer to announce the deal after the fact <laughs> rather than you know, bleed it out there and try to get some interest during the time frame. Yeah. We want to appease our fans. We want to get them connected, involved, and get them excited but we try to do the best we can to keep that information in-house.